Henry and the Elephant Henry and Gordon were lonely when Thomas left the yard to run his branch line. They missed him very much. They had more work to do. They couldn't wait in the shed till it was time and find their coaches at the platform. They had to fetch them. They didn't like that. Edward sometimes did odd jobs, and so did James, but James soon started grumbling too. The fat controller kindly gave Henry and Gordon new coats of paint. Henry chose green, but they still grumbled dreadfully. We get no rest, we get no rest, they complained as they clanked about the yard, but the coaches only laughed. You're lazy and slack, you're lazy and slack, they answered in their quite rude way. But when a circus came to town, the engines forgot they were tired. They all wanted to shunt the special trucks and coaches. They were dreadfully jealous of James when the fat controller told him to pull the train when the circus went away. However, they soon forgot about the animals as they had plenty of work to do. One morning, Henry was told to take some workmen to a tunnel which was blocked. He grumbled away to find two trucks to carry the workmen and their tools. Pushing trucks, pushing trucks, he muttered in a sulky sort of way. They stopped outside the tunnel and tried to look through it, but it was quite dark. No daylight shone from the other end. The workmen took their tools and went inside. Suddenly, with a shout, they all ran out looking frightened. We went to the block and started a dig, but it grunted and moved, they said. Rubbish, said the foreman. It's not rubbish. It's big and alive. We're not going in there again. Right, said the foreman. I'll ride in a truck and Henry shall push it out. Weesh, said Henry unhappily. He hated tunnels. He had been shut up in one once, but this was worse. Something big and alive was inside. Peep, 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 he whistled. I don't want to go in. Neither do I, said his driver, but we must clear the line. Oh dear, oh dear, puffed Henry as they slowly advanced into the darkness. Bump! Henry's driver shut off steam at once. Help, help, we're going back, wailed Henry. And slowly moving out into the daylight came first Henry, then the trucks, and last of all, pushing hard and rather cross, came a large elephant. Well, I never did, said the foreman. It's an elephant from the circus. Henry's driver put on his brakes, and a man ran to telephone for the keeper. The elephant stopped pushing and came towards them. They gave him some sandwiches and cake, so he forgot he was cross and remembered he was hungry. He drank three buckets of water without stopping and was just going to drink another when Henry let off steam. The elephant jumped and whoosh! He squirted the water over Henry by mistake. Poor Henry. When the keeper came, the workmen rode home happily in the trucks laughing at their adventure. But Henry was very cross. An elephant pushed me! An elephant whooshed me! He hissed. He was sulky all day, and his coaches had an uncomfortable time. In the shed, he told Gordon and James about the elephant, and I am sorry to say that instead of laughing and telling him not to be silly, they looked sad and said, You poor engine, you have been badly treated.